The sound of Swindon supporters at Wembley Stadium as they patiently await the appearance of the rival teams in this afternoon's League Cup final. Swindon humble third division giants are taking on the mighty Arsenal who have been among the first division pace setters all the season. And to set the scene for you, over now to Leslie Harris. The fans are really going now. And the band have disappeared from below us, so we're waiting for Princess Margaret to come along. There's a, an emblem of flowers right below us. We're right above the royal box, but the royal box is just a little... We can't quite see it. It's below us, underneath us, as it were, underneath our feet. And then come the Swindon Town girls. They're being applauded. You can hear the applause for the Swindon Town girls as they come down in their red and white costumes to um, a bench which has been allocated them right near the front. You notice that, uh, that uh, Butler and Rogers are carrying their stu superstitious ball, as you get it right in a minute. They insist on carrying a ball out to any match they play in, and also John Smith coming out last as again is his uh, one. He will insist on coming out last. Just one of the superstitions of football that is carried on wherever a team is playing football, and Swindon is no exception. And the mascot, Swindon Town mascot, has just come on with their She's been with us all through the uh, preceding matches. And if it's not the best, the best cup final, it certainly will be the one of the noisiest, surely. So it is to start the first half. The first half, any moment now, is the old starboard high arms. Well, thank you, Les. Thanks for the uh, honour of putting me on first. I appreciate this very much. And it's Arsenal then to kick off. And may I just say this very quickly, that if we were the county ground, Arsenal would be defending the Town End stand, and uh, Stratton Bank would be defended by Swindon. To give you a picture, this is. And uh, that is how the teams are at the moment. Swindon won the toss, by the way. Arsenal to kick off. The referee looking at his watch. Everybody getting teed up. The seconds are ticking by. And 30, uh, 31 and a half, 30 and a half minutes past 3 o'clock with our clock. Away go Arsenal then. And Arsenal come away, this time it's Samuels coming through, but the ball is then pushed way back to Peter Dansborough, who taps the ball along the carpet, gently picks it up, looks for a shot, way down to Peter Noble, he doesn't control that ball, and it's McClintock, the Arsenal captain, with the ball now, firing it left footed down the centre, not in the side there by Bobby Gold, a good move here, comes to Gold on the edge of the penalty area, but he's blocked there by Burrows, Burrows from Swindon, Harlan is there in a tussle, the ball loose now, taken by Port, forward to number 10, and a nice save there by the Swindon goalkeeper from a good cross shot by number 10, Bobby Gold, well the best there to Peter Downsborough, who had to go full length to push that ball around for a corner, so first blood to Arsenal, first shot, Rather loose there, but intercepted by Armstrong, George Armstrong going down towards the edge of the penalty box, a cross shot there, and this is the dangerous move that Swindon have to watch with Radford taking these crosses, and they, he loves them near the post. Now Swindon, Swindon coming away, Don Rogers for the first time, going past one man, got the second man on the run, he's going around the outside of Peter Storey, Peter Storey chasing him to the sideline, still with Peter Storey, down to the deadline, pulls a good shot across the area, and your head that ball out with no Swindon man there to push it in. And it's John Smith, John Smith then, to uh, Don Heath, who's moved across on the left, to Roger Smart, who doesn't control that ball, it comes through to John Smith on the edge of the box. Back in there by Smith, across the far side, and there will be another the hand there, Smart is too slow. But the, an infringement had been given there by handball by Peter Noble for pulling the ball down with his hand. And uh, now Arsenal trying to get going with Bobby Gold, into John Samuel, John Samuel's in the centre circle, way across to that far side where he finds Storey moving up. Storey along the carpet to the edge of the penalty box, taken by Radford, Radford still with the ball, but Trollop sitting on the ground, scoops the ball away from him, and the Swindon, the Swindon team now trying to get going through John Rogers, inside to Peter Noble. Peter Noble flicking that ball back rather luckily to John Smith, but he loses the ball to Bobby Gold, to John Samuels rather, and now to David Court. Court forward into the inside left position there where Gold is waiting, flick it inside but a neat move by Peter Noble, saves the day for Swinney, a good move through here with Rogers going through into the penalty area, he must, and he misses that one there, he was way through with only Wilson to beat, and Wilson down his feet, got that ball away. Well that's a miss for Rogers to remember, at 12 minutes gone then, they still have the score here on Wembley Stadium, still Swindon Town nil, Arsenal nil, 
and we find it now with 15 minutes gone and uh, I'm going to pass you now with that first shot there over for the next further commentary to Sydney for a continuation over to Sydney and here's, <coughs> here's a glorious opportunity there for Arsenal, Bobby Ball, firing into the side netting from only on the six yard mark. Glorious opportunity there. A, a, an easy chance there missed by Arsenal. But only Peter Downs for the feet and all the goal to shoot into. He fired the ball into the side net from only six yards. Goal kick then to Swindon. Goal kick going to be taken by Peter Downs for Swindon. Peter Downs for kicking a very good length on this very heavy ground, right footed. Short this time, just up to the halfway line, nodded on by Joe Butler, but pushed back by, by McNabb to Samuel. Samuel's out to the right wing to Radford. Radford now moving down the right wing, what is past Pollock, and he's right down now, just on the edge of the swing of penalty, loving the ball across the centre, right comes down for a punch the ball out, comes to Trollope, Trollope losing the ball to McClintock, fires in the shot, high and wide, high and wide, and the score after roughly half an hour's play now, still. Arsenal nil, Swindon nil in this League Cup final here at Wembley Stadium. Free kick to be taken by number four, which is McClintock or Samuel. Samuel's pushed it to the right. A shot, defection, goes right through the goalkeeper down. Very close to his outside right, who happens to be Don Rogers at this time. Don Rogers starts in his own penalty area now. Beats one man, beats three men. And picks the return ball up from Harlan. And he's just beaten. And Harden puts it forward. And here has to put back to it. Oh, a chance here. A chance here. An open goal here. It might be here. It's a goal. It's a goal. A bad mistake there by the Arsenal defence. I think it was John Smith or Noble. Anyhow, it was a defection. And Arsenal won the goal down. And uh, uh, they've gone that down the start then. Well, thank you. That was a great goal there, boys. When a good opportunist movement there, Roger Smart, I thought of somebody, but mid. Oh, I thought you wouldn't score until I come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was five minutes to go in the fir first half. The score here then, 1 0 for Swindon, scored by, we think, Noble. Here's one for Smart, Roger Smart. Handball there against Swindon, about seven yards outside the area. A dangerous position, this. No, it's less than, less than 10 yards. Three yards outside the area. All back in defence. Even Ewers come up this time in the, in the penalty area. There's Samuels. Oh, hit the post. A, 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 a header there from Marstall hit the post with, with go, down from nowhere. And it's gone for a corner on the right. Good move there from that free kick. Heart attack in the box. But corner on the right for Arsenal the goal on the half time for them would be a real tonic indeed here it comes a long high one headed out by comes loose headed back in again comes loose again third in again defection for a corner now a throw in to, to Arsenal foul given against against, winning, uh, against Arsenal on the halfway line John Samuels and Joe Butler in the tango there on the halfway line. Free kick to Swindon have taken by Rod Thomas. And here it comes. Into the area. And there goes the halfway, half, half time whistle. The score here. One to nil for Swindon and the fans rise to the two teams as they leave the field. The Arsenal, the Arsenal fans to our right, very silent indeed. The Swindon fans to our left, waving everything they've got. As off they go. Back in the studio then for a quick summary of the first half in which Swindon more than held their own and what is more important, scored the vital first goal through Roger Smart. The Swindon defence, after a rather shaky start, have now settled down well and have contained all the Arsenal attempts to gain an early equaliser. In fact, they look good enough to spring a major surprise here this afternoon. The second half is now in progress, and so we will join Harry Lawrence for further commentary. But uh, he's slowing the game down, looking at the side to Noble on the line. Noble 
Ronald Clayton with the ball there, flinging it to Hayes. Still with Hayes, he's being policed there by Bob McNabb, gets around McNabb, but he's too slow in getting the ball across, and it comes to Peter Noble, Peter Noble then quickly to Burroughs, Burroughs uh, to John Smith, who's going forward, tries to shot out, gets a diving save there from Bob Wilson. So at this moment, uh, Swindon are having more than their fair share, as it were, or all of their fair share of play in the second half. And it's still Swindon Town 1, Arsenal 0, Burroughs, Burroughs losing a, a tackle there, and away, here we have... Gold is away, he's in the penalty area, he goes down, tries to make it look good, but the ref's having nothing of it. Out comes Downsburg, picks up the ball, clears to Harlan, down the Swindon right wing, but nodded back into touch by by uh, Simpson for Arsenal for a throw into Swindon now, about 20 yards inside the Swindon half on the Swindon right wing, being taken by Rod Thomas. A long one down the wing, up they go, we nodded forward now, Arsenal in possession in the centre circle, but Lintock now. Looking over to his right wing for, for Radford, and it beats Trollope, Trollope, and here's Radford now. Radford cutting into the penalty area with, with a chance here, and he fires in a good shot. Down goes Peter Downsborough, pushes the ball around the post, a corner to Arsenal then. Dangerous situation there for, for Swindon, and Downsborough pushing the ball around the foot of the post from a good fierce right-footed shot by John Radford. Corner then to Arsenal. And it's going to be taken by... George Armstrong, right footed, it's to be an outswinger. Right under the bar, right under the bar, pushed back over by Peter Downsborough for another corner to Arsenal. Again on the right wing, and again going to be taken by George Armstrong, the Arsenal left winger. Again right footed, again we expect it to be an outswinger. Right under the bar again, up goes Downsborough, punches the ball out. It only goes to Samuels and he fires in a left-footed shot. Yards over the bar. Direction good. Elevation very, very poor. No danger at all to Swindon. Goal kick then to Swindon from a shot by John Samuels for Arsenal. And a goal kick being taken on the Swindon right side of the goal by Peter Downsbury. Peter Downsbury who's up to be now recovered from his buffeting that he took at the hands of Bobby Gold right footed up into the Arsenal half nodded on by by Butler picked up by Simpson to Gold on the left wing for Arsenal now Gold in possession with Thomas there back to David Court centre forward David Court pushing the ball up the left wing now Harland is there Harland cleverly sticks out his foot takes the ball cleanly and away comes Heath now for Swindon down the right wing He's going down, unchallenged now for Swindon. Cutting inside, down the wing now to Noble, but across comes Shore, takes the ball off Noble's toe, and starts an Arsenal attack going now on the Arsenal left. The ball comes over the centre, John Smith picks it up there very, very neatly. To Butler, across the Smart, to Rogers, and there's Trollope now, raising up the left wing. Rogers putting one forward into the Arsenal penalty area, but Peter Storey picks it up, passes back to Bob Wilson, and Bob Wilson, using the area to the fore, brings the ball right out making no attempt to bounce it, very, very sensibly. Clears right, put it up into the Swindon half, up go the heads, nodded out by Frank Burrows to uh, Peter Storey for Arsenal, cross to uh, Ian York, back now to Peter Storey on the Arsenal right, instead inside the Arsenal half, but a up forward, meant for John Radford, nodded in, back again to John Radford, and a high cross right across the centre, out comes Burrows, and nods the ball down over the goal line, and it's another corner to Arsenal on the Arsenal right. Four then to be taken again by George Armstrong for Arsenal. Right footed and Arsenal beginning to put on a little bit of pressure now. Well back this one, well back, now it forward by Arsenal. Out comes Radford, Samuels, out to Keith Foot and out comes Thomas and Thomas brought down there. But the play goes on and McNabb finally pushing the ball into touch. Off of Heath for a throw into Arsenal, midway between the Arsenal the centre line and this winning goal. And a long lob now, right over into this winning goal, it's not a forward by Radford, and then goes Downsbrook at the foot of the post. Brilliant save by Downsbrook, that was a goal all the way, then went Downsbrook, pushed the ball around the post, for another corner to Arsenal, three corners in very, very quick succession, all on the Arsenal right, being taken again by Armstrong. A lower one, nodded out by Smith, down. And finally Noble pushing the ball over his own goal line for another corner to Arsenal to relieve 
a bout of pressure. Four corners then in quick succession for Arsenal, all of them taken by George Armstrong on the Arsenal right wing. And the Swinon defenders now marking very, very closely. A high one right up under the bar, up goes to Ansborough. Punches the ball back out over the bar, over the line for another corner. Five, the fifth corner now in quick succession. And the pressure on, the pressure on now on the Swinon defence. And Arsenal trying to drive it home. Another one high up under the bar, up go the heads. Headed forward by Ewer, punched out by Downsborough, picked up by Heath, Heath now, a long one down for Smart, and there's Smart and Simpson in a tussle, Simpson winning the tussle, pushing the ball back up on the Arsenal left wing, and Arsenal attacking again on the left wing, but across comes Roger Smart, pushed the ball into touch, throw into Arsenal, 20 yards inside the Swindon half on the Arsenal left wing, on the Swindon right. And the Swindon defence under heavy pressure just at this moment. The Arsenal attacking with all that they've got. And Swindon defending stubbornly, heroically, giving nothing away. And there is Thomas. Thomas for Swindon pushing the ball up to Medford John Smith. But Smith loses the ball. Out now to the left wing. Arsenal left wing. And a long lob right over into the centre. Missed by, by Dainsborough. And pushed over the Swindon line. By centre half Frank Burrows. For another corner to Arsenal. And Arsenal now putting on the pressure for all they know. Right footed, right up underneath the bar. Not it back out again. Another corner, another corner to Arsenal on the right. And the Swindon defence finding it difficult to get the ball away at this particular moment on their left flank. Arsenal again right footed. Further back this time out. Not it out to your. Cleared by Harland. A mix up there. And a beautiful play by Noble. A love back. Smith now with the ball, losing the ball, still in the penalty area for Swindon. Still in a ruck of players, Radford now loving the ball right over, right comes down, takes the ball cleanly, and throws the ball beautifully out to Don Heath, unmarked on the right wing, and there's Heath now, over the halfway line, challenging for Swindon, Rogers up in close support, and racing away there, cutting inside, he's going to lose it, he's lost the ball, Heath has overrun it, lost the ball when he could have flicked it to Rogers on the right wing and given him a glorious opportunity and finally now Radford now for Arsenal on the Arsenal right, moving forward now up into the Swindon half, tackled by Smart but cutting inside, Radford left footed over into the penalty area, knotted out by Burrows, Samuel and then goes down for a beautiful save by Peter Downs for a full length, twisted the ball around the post for a corner to Arsenal on the Arsenal left wing and Peter Downs for a Worth his waiting goal at this particular moment for Swindon. It's brought off three or four fantastic saves. All of them from good, solid shots from Arsenal forwards. And no doubt giving enormous confidence to the rest of the Swindon defenders by his performance. An in-swinger then this time, right over. Up go the heads, not it out. To your... But it's too high and wide. High and wide. Four minutes on the clock. And a replay... If Arsenal get this one by the goal. Comes loose to Don Rogers. Don Rogers. Beach, beach here but not the next man in defence. A chance here for Arsenal. A goal! A goal for, a goal for Arsenal there. With five minutes to go, Arsenal have equalised. And a long high one down from the Arsenal defence, right down to Rod Thomas's territory, and he turns round, comes away with it, and puts it down the right wing to try to find Don Rogers. Rogers does so, Rogers is going through now, trying to trying to get to the Arsenal defence, and he, a, a crashing shot from Rogers, well held by Bob Wilson, brought down, that could have been a, a picture book finish there, but Wilson was there, took the ball out of the air, and the score is still one each here at the Wembley Stadium. Out to Armstrong on the left, who doesn't want to attack, bringing it back into his own house of field, put it through to Graham. Graham, that is full time given, full time, no sides, as they would say at Twickers, no sides. And so we move on into extra time, the referee having allowed only a short break, Swindon having won the toss again, and we pick up the commentary as the ball goes into touch for a throw into Swindon. 
A long throw by Blackman, nodded back by, by Noble. Into the arch of the number four by Penman. Thomas, a ball and a referee, then gets the referee. The referee stopped a beautiful drive there from Thomas, and finally it's Court who comes across and deliberately drives the ball over his own goal line for a corner to Swindon on the Swindon right wing, a corner which is going to be taken by Tony and the referee affected what was almost the save of the day there for the Arsenal by stopping that terrific drive by right back Rob Thomas. Don Heath then with the corner for Swindon, a good one right high up over, not it forward, not it out and finally it's Rogers chasing it now on the Swindon left, picking the ball back to to Trollope, Trollope getting the ball over in the centre to Smart, Smart losing it to Armstrong, Armstrong now getting an Arsenal attack going down the centre to Graham, Graham picked out cleanly in the air by Peter Downs, Graham thrown out to right winger Heath, Heath now for Swindon coming up now to the halfway line, cutting inside but being dispossessed fighting back, losing the ball finally to McNabb, McNabb for Arsenal down to, to Graham, Graham beaten in the tackle by Thomas but still in possession, moving into the centre now and across comes Penman but Court is there, lobbing the ball across to McClintock, and finally across comes Penman, taking the ball off of McClintock, and lobbing the ball through the centre for Rogers. Is Rogers through now? Noble! 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 Speaking the ball out now, is there here for he Can he keep it in? No, he's just missed it. A, a bit of a mix up there between Noble and Rogers when it seemed that they must go through the middle. Two against one, there's a glorious chance there for Swindon. A little bit of a mix up. And Swindon here piling on the pressure. Throwing then by McNabb back to, to Court, who's playing right back behind his fullbacks. Back to Wilson. Wilson left footed up into the centre circle. Nodded on by Graham. Picked out by Haran across to Trollope. Trollope now moving forward over the halfway line for Swindon. Into the Arsenal half. In steps Yor. Takes the ball. Yor now moving forward for Arsenal. Picking the ball forward for Tamils across now. Across now to, to Story. Story for Arsenal. Right, moving right up into the Swindon half. Into the Swindon penalty area to, to Gold. And the ball coming off of Gold, going over the byline, or over the touchline rather. I think it's a throw to Swindon. Picked up by Trollope, pushed back inside to Frank Burrows. Burrows across now to Rod Thomas on the Swindon right. And Thomas now waving his players forward, moving forward with the ball, and a long lob up the centre, being chased by Peter Noble, out comes goalkeeper Wilson, and wins the race, and clears right-footed, back up to the centre line, where John Trollope gets a right foot to it, and lobs it again back into the Arsenal penalty area. Your getting the, getting the ball away. And the tempo of the game slowing down a little bit, as one would expect in these conditions. And Arsenal now making, making an attack on the left wing now. Armstrong moving inside, but dispossessed by Penman. The ball coming across the centre now. Two now to Yor. Yor in the centre and Court. Court playing a very, very deep line. Halfbacks game now with number nine on his back. And his place up in the front being taken by Graham. Graham now in possession, pushing the ball through to McLintock. McLintock out to Radford on the right. But Trollope there first. Trollope wins the tussle. Gets the call, ball across to Smart. Smart now going through for Swindon. Bundled off the ball. Only goes to McLintock. And again the ball comes loose here. McNabb. But a poor lob forward. Picked up by Thomas for Swindon. Thomas inside to Smart. To Thomas. To Heath on the right wing. Inside to Thomas. Thomas to Heath. Now Heath now on the right for Swindon. Moving up into the penalty area, a lob and is pushed off by by uh, Court to Graham Graham now pushing one through for Radford and there's Radford now through, Radford in the penalty area, and Trollope there sticks out a long leg, and kicks the ball way out into touch on the swing and left wing, level with the edge of the penalty area for a throw into Arsenal and after, and after 10 minutes after nearly 10 minutes of this first half of extra time the score still Swindon 1 Arsenal run over now for further commentary to Harry Lawrence the throw in then to Arsenal is taken very quickly Arsenal trying to get through and in my view Arsenal are tiring badly here but um, of course that doesn't always hide uh, the fact that they're that, that often hides the fact that they've still got something up their sleeve now Swindon coming through with Butler Butler then to Thomas Thomas putting a long one down and Rogers is inches offside whether he was offside when the ball was kicked is another thing, but he was inches in front of his man. 
Free kick taken by Yori. Yori then to uh, left back McNabb. And a tussle going on here with the Burrows winning the day from Bobby Gold up by the corner flag. Radford then to take this on the left. Radford, the outside right, playing on the left wing just at this moment. Here it goes. Not it on there. Still with Arthur. And Dennis will make the last minute save there just to push that ball around that post. A brilliant save there by Dennis. But wonderful anticipation to get that ball around the post for a corner to Arsenal. And about two minutes left in this first period of extra time and the score is still Swindon Town 1, Arsenal 1 across comes that ball very low but 10 minutes there scooping the ball out to the left wing where Smart I believe running onto it still Smart the only him and Rogers down there but uh, up comes Butler Butler blocks that ball and it sort of skies itself onto Yor's head comes to Rogers now Rogers going to the middle on his own three Arsenal men round him gets through one man Blocked by two men there, and four men finally finished up Ray Rogers, and the ball went sailing between an Arsenal player's legs for clearance. Now it comes to uh, Arsenal again through the centre. But Burrows there covering that ball for Swindon to Rod Thomas. Rod Thomas letting the ball run, turning on it very neatly indeed, going down that right wing, cutting inside now, right towards the centre. Left footed down the centre to Peter Noble. Peter Noble there, and Yori. I've never seen your looking so tired as he does today. A very tired man indeed. And uh, Noble not much better, limping slightly. And Wilson there gathering that ball for Arsenal, clearing it now, up into the centre, taken now by the Arsenal number 12, substitute number 12, and it's pulled away there by Trollope. Trollope there, but it's only to McClintock. And McClintock now, looking for a place to put this ball, decides to give it to uh, the centre forward court. Comes right across there, Radford's there with that header of his, but this time he's not on target. And it's a goal kick then for Swindon. Goal kick then to Downsborough for the Swindon for Swindon, and two minutes to go in this first period of extra time. Swindon down one, Arsenal one, and Swindon at this moment on the attack. To De to Noble, Noble in the penman, penman now going through on his own at the moment, out to the wing. Don Heath there taking possession. And Arsenal noticeably retreating once when he gets the ball. Pen and he's going around him, gets a good ball across, up with a head, it's a goal! It hits the post! Torre gave a fly, knees down, header there. Goal was Wilson Dye, pushed the ball aside, hit the post, came out, and finally was pushed over the corner in panic there by the Arsenal defence. Obviously a sensible thing for the man to do, but definite panic measures there for Arsenal. Swindon could yet win this game. He's now with his corner, comes across, too close, and another corner from the Arsenal inside forward Bobby Gold. Yet again, another corner to, to Swindon, on the right, to be taken by Don Heath. And Swindon may have suffered this pressure in the, first, in the second half, but Swindon has certainly given Arsenal their own back in the first period of extra time here at Wembley. Don Heath again, across it goes, a higher one this time, a well placed, well I'm going to hang it, and would you believe it, Smart stop the ball, it comes, Noble slides into the chair, Rogers has scored, Rogers has scored, Rogers has got number two for Swindon. Oh, well there we are, Don Rogers has got that goal, I'm sure that he would wish himself to get, okay, and there it is, there's the first period of extra time. So now we go into extra time and can Swindon do it and hold out for another 15 minutes. And they will restart with a goal kick to Arsenal. Bob Wilson receives from his full back, puts it downfield, but it goes to Harlan, Harlan forward to Smart, Smart goes from down the left wing, but there's no one there. We are playing a sort of a canny half-half attack, half-defense half game, obviously. Frank McClintock with the throw, down the right wing, again out of play on the halfway line, this time John Radford throws in, being harassed by Heath, and it's put downfield where John Trollope just went right forward, where Don Heath went on to run, a loose ball, Don Heath going to the area, tries one, and it's a good save by Bob Wilson, put the ball past the post, Corner on the left for Swindon. So we have a, le a left wing corner that's going to be an in swinger from Don Heath.
And the tension here building up. Back to Don Heath, who puts one across the area. Well saved by goalkeeper Wilson, who puts a long one down the field, but it's easily taken by Harlan. Five minutes to go then at Wembley here. For a throw to Arsenal. Inside it goes to Euro. Euro misses the ball the first time today. Chance for John Don Rogers, but he wasn't quite quick enough in the mud, but it's a lot muddier. No, a foul there, but not given. Arsenal not, not getting the ball away at all cleanly. The pass from Penman to Heath here was cut out, and it came down to Penman again. Heath, a bad one, right through to goalkeeper Downs, but eventually by from Harlan. Now, he puts it right downfield. Noble to Butler to Don Rogers. Rogers going away, trying to get through a wall of defenders. Puts it away on the right there, where Roger Smart is racing for it. And eventually puts the ball back to Butler. And it's all on the right near the left hand corner flag this time for, for Swindon. Out of play, again, a throw in to Arsenal. They put it back to the goalkeeper, Wilson, who's the crowd whistling for time. Harland playing a good game in the centre here. A ricochet there from a, a, a clearance. Let in Arsenal. A throw to Swindon. Everybody walking about now, not many people running. Harlan down the line with a throw, a long high one. Noble's there, waiting for someone to give it to. Puts it forward, where Willie Penman bursts through. Penman there, with three men around him. You're going out to him this time. On the right hand corner flag, wasting time. Well, I'll just sit and wait for this. And here it's a throw to Swindon. They just sit, just stand there with the, their foot on the ball, waiting for the other team to play it out. The referee now telling them to not to waste time. Corner on the right this time to Swindon. The junior to save Penman getting it across, had to put it out. And away goes Don Rogers for, for a corner in the last two minutes of this game here. We... We weren't quite sure how, how much they took for the, uh, the little break before the and at the end of the 90 minutes. Arsenal could breaking away very fast. But in steps Rod Thomas over the line for the throw on the halfway line this time. Arsenal now having to come out and make a, a last burst for this equalising goal in extra time here. Out now to Peter Storey. Peter Storey down the right wing. Where John Trollope's there, puts the ball out of play for a throw to Arsenal. All the players very tired indeed. Your team of combinator is very tired indeed. But there was a chance for Arsenal. Now he's offside. Thank goodness, my heart was in my mouth at the time. <laughs> offside on the 18-yard line. The free kick to Swindon. The sand of time running out here. A long high one from that goal kick has beaten the error, partly. And away come Arsenal from that scramble. Yes, a dangerous move here, out on the right. John Trotter's going across. John Trotter inside to Penman, a good move that. And Penman just went right, right down the field to try to find Noble, but here, here is there, push, push it right back to, to Peter Storey. The cross field pass from Storey to, to Samuel, Samuel's forward, Arsenal coming again in these dying minutes, and a long one goes down there, from to Noble, Noble smart with him, smart has Heath on his outside, Heath, Heath wanted the ball in front of him, he put the ball behind him, and he tells Noble so, and away come Arsenal, not bothered with those arguments, a long high one then, from Trinity defence, has gone down to Ear's head, Peter Storey, inside, comes loose and a long high win again down the left wing and the referee must be looking at his watch surely now because I am and the whistling has started again 
can Twin and hold on without the cliffhanger again. And away goes Burrows there, three or four players down. Back to goalkeeper down for a chance there for a, for a free kick for Arsenal, I thought. But I've got rose cutter spectacles on and I don't see, don't see fouls the other way this afternoon. Here with the ball on the halfway line. Then the left wing it goes to George Armstrong. Armstrong hits Rob Thomas and puts the one, a ball across the goal. It's headed out by Burrows. Burrows downfield to Noble. Noble trying to get the get away. He's pulled back, but no referee lets play go on. And it's still on the left wing. Outside by Rod Thomas, who's put that ball out of play time and time again. The referee looking at his watch. No, someone's gone down with cramp. I think it's Harlan. Harlan gone down with cramp. With with no with no time left in this um, in this second period of extra time. The score here run it run to Arsenal two to Swindon. Goals by Smart and Rogers, and uh, Bobby Gold for Arsenal. Well, I don't know whether the Robins can make it, but if they do, you'll hear a row who right we've never heard before. That's what it's like, really. And the play will start again when Harlan's ready, with a throw on the right. Off he gets, with Harry Cousins there, giving him a pat on the back. Throw it on the, on the left. Taken to Bobby Orr. And here's Swindon break now. To Rogers, he can't be offside. He can't be offside because he's probably don't have the field. And that's the finish! Rogers has scored the third goal. He, was, he, he left his own half the field. He left his own half the field and and Sydney's got the come. You know what, Harry? <laughs> well, I, I want to say that like this, that I have never seen a first division club ground into the ground so much. That may seem a pun, but it ground into the ground. They're absolutely out on their feet. And there, there is the whistle. It's all over. Well, that's it. They've won the cup 3-1. to one. On, on the field runs John Smith. Well... Who would have thought it? And the Swindon supporters absolutely wild with delight. Throwing their arms, their stars, their hats, everything in the air. Absolutely delighted, as of course we are here too. And here's Stan Harlan now, coming up to receive the cup. Having a kiss of congratulation on the way from Swindon supporters. And here they come, Stan Harlan, Roger Smart, Don Heath, Don Rogers, Peter Noble, Joe Butler, John Trollope, Willie Penman, Rod Thomas, Peter Downstra, Burroughs, Burroughs, and last but not least, Lincoln up, John Smith, and John, and Stan Harlan, he sees the cup from the Princess Margaret. A good chance to see how the Just listen to the roar. The Swindon crowd have come because there's an occasion, and uh, this occasion has been their day. All we want now is uh, promotion, which I'm sure the lads are going to give us. And so there we are then, from this epic moment of Swindon's history, uh, Wembley Stadium, 1969, March the 15th. Day to remember in the annals of Swindon football history.